Hi, I'm Noemi. We often receive requests about how to find geographic information about a given geography, particularly by using a physical address. We currently do not have this functionality available in data.census.gov. However, you can use another tool, the Census Geocoder, to obtain this information. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through locating geographic information, such as the track number, in the geocoder using a physical address. The Census Geocoder can be accessed by going to census.gov and clicking on Data, Tools, and Apps under the Data and Maps tab. Then scroll down the list and click on Census Geocoder. There are a few different things you can do with the geocoder. For this, though, click on Find Geographies and then Parsed Address Processing. This is where you'll enter the address. As you can see, there are spaces for the house number, street name, city, state, and zip code. For our example, enter 50 Massachusetts Ave Northeast into the box for house number and street name Washington in the box for city, the abbreviation DC in the box for state, and 20002 in the box for zip code. Leave the benchmark as public underscore AR underscore current and the vintage as current underscore current. Then click on the Get Results button at the bottom to see if this address has a match. When it's finished running, you can see what was entered as well as the address that it was matched to. Then we can start to see different geographic information. For example, we can see that the address is part of the Washington, Arlington, DC, Virginia, Maryland urban area. If we scroll down a little more to the census tract section, we can see that this address is in census tract 106.03. Now that you have this geographic information in hand, you can use it in data.census.gov to find data. I do want to mention that you don't necessarily need to know all this information ahead of time to find the match for an address. In many cases, if you have all the information except the zip code, for example, you can leave the zip code field blank and still receive a match for the address. Or maybe the opposite is true and you have the zip code, but not the city and state. Again, in many cases, you could leave the city and state field empty and fill in the house number, street name, and zip code and still get a match. It's nice knowing that you have this flexibility available. Let's try an example so you can see what happens. Under Find Geographies, click on Parsed Address Processing again to clear everything out. Enter 701 Constitution Ave Northwest into the box for house number and street name, Washington in the box for city, and the abbreviation DC in the box for state. We're going to leave the zip code empty. When we click on the Get Results button, we can see that we can get a match and receive geographic information about the address. I also want to give you one other example for something that doesn't happen very often, but is still a possibility. On rare occasions, you may receive back multiple results. To see this, just delete the Northwest from the street name and hit the Get Results button again. We still get matches, so that's good. But as we scroll down, we can see that one of the matches is for 701 Constitution Ave Northeast, and the other is for 701 Constitution Ave Northwest. This is an important difference though because the geographic information differs depending on whether it's for the Northeast address or the Northwest one. If you do happen to run into this issue or you have any other concerns about the geocoder, you can contact us through either of the email addresses provided below. I hope this tutorial has helped you in learning how to find track numbers and other geographic information using a physical address. For guidance on using this information in data.census.gov, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.